Hello and welcome to this edition of Roofing It Right with Dave and Wally. I'm Dave. I'm Wally. This is the number one problem we have in our top 10 punch list that stops and starts. Would you say that there's eight, maybe nine times out of 10 you'll find a, a stop and start that's bad? There are notorious leakers. They have to be addressed correctly. They got to be repaired properly. You know, most guys don't realize that stop and start, right? I can see right there when they haven't probed. I can too, yeah. There's probably one at the other end of this run because mm -hmm. that's where that robot can't quite get into that wall. I don't right. really have to probe it, but I'm going to just probe it just to show you. I'm going to run my probe down here. And it should be right about there. So that is wide open. Boy, that's a leaker. Look at that. And our typical T-joint patch, which is right here, probably won't be big enough to cover this. So we're going to have to cut a, wide, a bigger piece of membrane to do that patch. Dave, why don't you run back there and grab that robot? Let's show them what happened here. I'll walk fast. <laughs> Um, you better let me get it. Okay. All right. Well, while he's going to do it, he's bringing a robot in to show you how this can be missed when your robot stops and starts. So right here, you can see where they pulled this these nozzle out because the robot will only go so far. So they stopped it right here, pulled the nozzle out, got rid of the robot, and then the guy came in here with his handgun and tried to finish this off. Well, as you can see... Whoever did this didn't do a very good job. But again, these are notorious leakers. There's actually a little water in here right now. When this roof's new, these are very hard to see. I mean, the guy that's, the person that's running that robot, he should automatically mark these. Again, these are very difficult to repair right. Um, if this roof's new, they're gonna be hard to, hard to probe out. It's typically when these show up when these are a couple, two, three, four, five years old, this is where these start popping open. Now the guy's gonna have to come in here again. He's gonna have to clean this. Like I said earlier, we're going to have to have a bigger patch rather than this T-joint patch to repair this properly. 